Well, hello everybody, it's Daz Ran Trio Tree, and welcome back to Go Vacation Let's Play. In the last episode, we went to the marine resort, and we were helping out an old friend, who in turn, gave us a freaking villa! So let's go and check that out right now. And the reason behind the last episode not going up on time, is because I'm using a new form of recording device. It's called the Elgato Game Capture HD. And this is the very first Go Vacation episode, which is in... 720p, actual true 720p. I won't bore you with the details, but uh, that's right, true tree is going HD. Oh, yeah. All right, okay. Um, let's talk to this person here, and we're going to have a look at the old man's gift to us. Here is where you can remodel your villa, make an entirely new villa, or simply change the layout. You'll be sure to enjoy the resort life in the villa of your dreams. Wow. And yes, the whole. Villa Resort is covered in villas for anyone who's wondering. And the reason being is because uh, I've actually gotten a lot of comments asking how did I do it. Uh, basically you start up a new file for loads of different me's and you get them to unlock the villa by getting 20 stamps, I think it is. Alright, let's go into the new villa. Alright, here's the new one. This is the one the old man gave us in return for finding all his lost mementos. Here it is. Oh, cool. I don't think I like the white roof though. Looks cool though. It's got little fans inside. I think you can take a look at the inside if you press the C button. There you go, little fan. Cool. There's a little grass roof. That's pretty cool. I'll say it would be better in a different color though. Is there always going to be a white roof? Oh my god. Okay, so in the comment section as well, somebody else suggested I unlock something with a gold key in order for me to get a Christmas tree. Oh, we don't have any gold keys. Uh, I think it was the party set, so that's the kitchen. Animals, ornaments, UFO, haunted house, tree house, horror set. Hmm. Maybe I already have the party set, do I? Yeah, I do. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look before we get on with this episode of Go Vacation. Right, so we are going to have to get rid of a chair, as always. We're going to go to remodeling menu. Furnish. And now what? Oh yeah, <laughs> I always get lost doing this. Okay, uh, simple country, tropical, iron, designer. Designer, do we have anything in designer at all? No, it doesn't seem so. Royal, gift wrap. Here's my trophies I've managed to unlock. Master Slider Award, cool. Uh, here's the party, so, oh, here we go. Festive tree, ah, oh, look. It's getting to be that time of year, everybody. That will be going up in my villa pretty soon. Cake! And that is exactly what it is. It's a cake. You can get a balloon, a banner. Happy New Year! Cool. Happy birthday! I think Alicia32 put that up in her house when it was my birthday, actually. In her villa. Congratulations. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to have to put back this tree, so we're going to copy it. And we're going to have to really fix up my house in order to get the festive spirit going. But also, I want to make a room dedicated to all the trophies I am unlocking. So, remodeling menu, let's go back to the villa grounds and get on our way with this episode of Go Vacation. Yeah, so I had some issues. I was trying to record an episode for last uh, Tuesday. For last Tuesday, but it didn't work out. I recorded one, but the it was just a test recording. I didn't actually play any of the games. And it didn't work out very well. The audio was completely out of sync. Much like the last time I tried to record with the HD PVR2. So, a bit mad over that. And also a bit sad, as you can see. <laughs> but let's see. Let's hope and see if this one works. It's time for another episode of Go Vacation. So, uh, I really want to go back to the Marine Resort before it gets too close to winter. Because when it gets close to Christmas time, I think I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the Snow Resort. Just to keep things festive. So... Let's talk to our lady in blue here. Welcome, here you can transfer between resorts. Would you like to visit another resort? We're going to go back to the marine resort. This time we're going to go, uh, yeah, daytime. Daytime, let's see what this place looks like in 720p, man. <laughs> Welcome to Marine Resort, Dazran Trio Tree. You found seven of seven treasures and only taken four of seven photos. You jerk. Right, so where are we going? I think we have to do some more marine activities. So let's go into the view records. 
Let's see what we haven't done. So marine bike races, we haven't done that. Beach volleyball, we need to finish that as well. And scuba diving. That is all we've got left. Wow. All right, let's go to marine bike races and see if we can get that done. Let's go. Come on, Yoshi. Let's go. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, it's over here somewhere. Oh, it's actually on this island here with the broken... Hey, jeez, look how far your one is out. Right, let's have a quick look at the map <laughs> to save myself from going in the wrong direction. That looks to be scuba diving... Or scuba marine bike races, yeah. Marine bike races. So it's just at the lip. So if we change our course here... And let's get on a merry way. So I have to say to everybody who's been posting video responses to some of the challenges, uh, it's great to see, it's really good. Um, I must have a go at them myself and see if I can beat your times, but it really gives a, a great sense of community. I know um, Nikki's been posting a lot of video responses. Uh, Snort93, I saw a response from him as well. Great to see you guys, and it's, uh, it's going to happen again in this episode. We're going to go into the marine bike races. And if you want to post a video response to any of the times I managed to get here, please feel free to do so. I know you can beat my time, so let's do it. Let's go and see what I can do. I swear you can't find a decent man these days. Isn't there anyone out there that can ride like my dad? You're weird. You're weird, girly. Alright, let's see what we have to do to get a, a gold key. Alright, silver key, sprint race, circuit race, and hoop challenge. Alright, let's start activity. I think we're gonna go for some hoop challenge. I did one, two, and three in the last episode, I think it was. So in stage four, we are going to make our first game in episode number 55, I think it is. The episode after the old man helping one. <laughs> let's do it. Alright, two minutes and ten seconds. Try and beat my times by going through the hoops and post them as a video response if you have gold vacation. It'd be great. Great fun for everyone. I didn't even jump. Alright, that's five seconds you've got there. Five seconds. Good five seconds head start I just gave you. On purpose, that was. <laughs> yeah, right. Whoa. Oh, another five seconds because I didn't get to jump properly. And I've just realized my Wii remote wrist wrap is not on. Alright, this should be a very easy one to beat, guys, but I want to see who can get the best time. You can get the very best time. Yes. Oh, yes. The trick of this is to... I suppose not going too fast would be good, but I know it might take a couple of retries, but you could really... Oh, crap, how do you do this again? Yeah! No! Oh, that's a tricky one. That is a tricky one. I had no practice at this. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. That's my excuses. <laughs> this little one here. Oh, is he going to make it down for this one? That is a tricky jump. And that one is gone by the wayside as well. 1 minute and 48 seconds. 0. 0.9. Oh, 49. 49. 46. Let's see who can beat that time. And for everyone who does post a video response to help you guys out as well, um, I go to your video, I watch it, I leave a comment, and I also leave it a like rating for taking part in the little challenges. So I hope that guys that helps you guys out as well. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, I recently moved house. That is another reason why I didn't get another episode up, because I moved house and stuff. Um, I'm also away from my computer. I have no internet here in my new house, so I am going to have to find any time I can to get onto the internet to give your video a like. But make sure you get those challenge responses in. It's always fun. All right, let's go for the hoop challenge, stage five. And let's try and get all the hoops this time. If anything else, let's try and get all the hoops in this episode. Give you guys a bit of a challenge. I mean, this is too easy. Oh yeah. One minute and 40 seconds. All right, let's not miss a hoop. Oh my God, I nearly missed the first hoop. What am I doing? All right, let's see. This is gonna be tricky. Got it down, got it down. Have to watch out for the waves as well, sometimes it can wreck your jump. You won't be able to get any height from your jumps if you catch the wave at the wrong angle. Ugh, what a turn! What a championship turn! Oh dear. 
Oh, this is... Oh, just as I was about to say, this isn't going too bad, and that happens. Five seconds penalty for being obnoxious. Oh, that was close. Oh, how are you supposed to get this? You're going to really have to... Oh, man. I missed two there. I missed three in quick succession. That is terrible. One minute and 19 seconds. It was a good run. I think I could have got just over a minute, maybe. I got... Did I miss three or four hoops? That's 15 to 20 seconds right there. Man, that was a good run nonetheless. And he's got a silver key for his troubles. That is all, that's one third of the marine bike races activity almost complete. So let's go and see what else we have to do besides hoop challenge. It's going to start activity again. We have to do some sprint race and circuit race. So let's see what's in sprint race. We've done stage one, stage two. So I think stage two in all these marine bike races, they always take place in the mystical jungle where that waterfall is. So let's see where... No, it's not. Shut your mouth, that's right. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> right, let's see what you guys can do for this one. Let's see what times you guys can get. Now, please feel free to post a response to every game I do. Um, you know, this is circuit race number two of sprint race. Uh, please feel free as well to do the hoop challenge if you want. And keep them separate, if you want. Do whatever you like. I know uh, Snort93, I think he did all of the... Um, I can't remember, was it the Hoop Challenge or... No, it was the Quad Bike Racing he did it in all of one episode. So, you can do what you like if you want to post them in as a response. Whatever you do, just post them anyway. A lot of fun. Right, 40 seconds into this. This is a sprint race, so it's just a race to the finish line. There is no laps. This race is pretty solid so far, I have to say. Turn going up here. Could be costly. Oh, he's taking it very well. This is going to be a hard time to beat, folks. Oh, yes. This is going very well indeed. Let's see if we can beat 115. 14. Oh, 114.88. That is going to be a hard time to beat, everybody. Would like to see your video responses for that. That was a pretty solid race. Unless there's some turbo boost I'm not sure of, or I don't know. <laughs> as well as that, sometimes these races can be very hard because the computers get in your way. They insist on getting in your face, which can really slow you down. <laughs> oh, yeah! Good boy, Yoshi. Celebrating with me. Alright, activity screen. There is one more sprint race left to do. Stage number three. Let's do it now. I'd say if we keep up this pace, we could get another gold key for this episode. For marine bike races, I should say. And see if we get a trophy as well. And here we are in the Mystic Jungle. Stage number three. I was wrong. Let's do it. Alright, so to get a, a star here as well, you see that stone that was just ahead of me there? The computer actually did a big ramp off it. You can do a ramp over that wooden bridge and you get a star for that, if you weren't aware. I did it in a previous episode with Alicia 32 when she was with me. Just in case you didn't know. And by getting those stars, you do get... Um, maybe you have to get four stars in a resort. Like in, in the marine resort, you might have to get four stars. One is for swimming 3,000 feet. The other one is for jumping over a wooden bridge like that. So yeah, they're pretty handy. Alright, let's make this another hard time to beat for you guys. Oh, wicked turns here. There's no map. There's no map to see where you're going next. It's all improvisation. Even if that's even a word, I don't know. Oh, that's a good jump. That's a shortcut right there, I'm telling you. I'm freaking telling you now. Ugh. Right, this isn't going too bad, folks. This could be another good one. Oh, he did a weird jump there for some reason. That has cost him a second or two, I'd say. Oh no, there's no turn there! Oh no, he did a jump! <laughs> God damn it. That's the problem with this Wii Remote Nunchuck Control. Sometimes you shake the Wii Remote by accident and it does a jump for you. Woohoo! You win! Alright, that is the sprint race is done. Oh yeah! You won a silver key. 126. 49. I'd say you guys can get just over 120 with a couple of mistakes I made. 120 is possible. 
Get your responses in, folks. Right, start activity. Circuit race. We have not done any of these, so let's go to stage one and see what this is all about. And I'd say after we get all these ones done, that might be the end of the episode. Best record, zero. Let's do it. I don't know why the computer always gets a faster start. This can get annoying. If they get in your way, it can get very annoying. I, I was pretty sure I did some of these races on green bikes. I don't know why I didn't get any stamps for this, or any ticks, I should say. I was pretty sure I did a couple of these races. Oh, they're way out ahead. Alright, so I'm assuming this is going to take a bit longer to do than the sprint races, as there's three laps here. Let's see how long it takes us to do our first lap. And then a good way to gauge it is to... It should be easy for you to beat your first lap, because you start from a dead start. The starting line. How many times do I say start just then? <laughs> so I reckon the second lap should be at least... 145... Under... Under... Uh, 45 seconds. 145. <laughs> That'll be a very slow lap. Alright, we're gunning for a 45 second lap. We can do it. We're out in first. So I always find, like, um, the difficulty of this game is non-existent, really. I mean, once you pass out the computer, that's it. You won't see them again. <laughs> so I think that's why I started doing this, like, challenge my time, because there is no challenge, let's be fair. And if there was online mode, I could play with you guys doing this, but seems I can't. Uh, we could just do like, I guess you could call it time trials. Oh, 43.85. That's a 5, isn't it? 43.85. That's a good second lap. Good solid lap. Let's see if we can shave a couple of milliseconds off that. 43.80. That would mean that my second lap was good as well. And my last lap was a bit similar. Alright, so we're up to 1 minute and 57 total time. It's just a bit longer than the sprint race we did just in. Oh. Sometimes those waves can really throw you off. 2 minute and... Oh! 2 minute and 13.76. Woohoo! Right, that was a good time. I didn't actually get to see what my last lap was. Damn it! I was looking out for that. <laughs> Alright, 2 minute and 13.76. Okay. Start activity. Circuit race, stage number 2. So this game is nearly coming to a close, I guess. There's only a couple of uh, games left to do on Go Vacation. But fear not, as I will do some fun... Hopefully some fun uh, four-player Let's Plays of this soon. We'll do some uh, some of the games I've already gotten all the stamps for. And we can go around and stuff. Just uh, something to look forward to. That'll probably be after the Wii U is released. But Go Vacation will still continue. I can't turn for some reason. Damn it. God damn it. Bad start already. See what we can do here. Is that the? Oh, I thought we were already finished the lap. I think I'm last. I'm still freaking last. This is just a dead straight. I mean, this course is like so boring. <laughs> it's no wave race, I tell you. Any any of you guys ever play a, a game called Wave Race on the N64, GameCube, or the? I don't think it was on the Wii actually. Uh, the closest thing to Wave Race on the Wii was Wii Sports Resort um, Jet Ski Racing. Because it was the same team who made Wave Race for, uh, over the development of the Jet Ski Racing in Wii Sports Resort. If you didn't know that, there's a little tidbit for you. Haha. <laughs> Alright, we're in second position here. On the second lap, doing a very good turn. And that's the end of the computer. We'll never see them again. <laughs> Music note. That's copyright from Lily. Alright, 1 minute and 8 seconds, point three six was my first lap. I reckon this one should be at least under 1 minute and 5 because I had a good start from the finish line. And as well as that, I think I did a very bad turn at the first turn, I think it was. Do it really wide. Let's see what we can do. 
around there. Oh, that was a bad turn. I nearly came from a dead stop there as well. Man, what is happening to me? Oh, stop it. None of that jumping business now. I have to say, like, um, some of the most fun you can have with Go Vacation is the you know, free roaming exploration of the game. Oh, one, one minute, 5.52. But there, there isn't too much to keep you going around free roaming as opposed to just playing the games and getting it done. Unfortunately, there's not, not not a whole lot you can do. I mean, you can have your villa, you can decorate it, but it'd be cool if you could, like, earn currency for doing things and buy stuff, buy different outfits, different uh, furnishings. You know, that, that's what the stamp dash is for, but they could have boats, man. They could have boats. Still no word as well from Namco. I sent him an email. In uh, one of the previous episodes, I said I would send them an email and ask them, was there any news on a Go Vacation on the Nintendo Wii U? But uh, still nothing back from them, unfortunately. I've sent the email numerous times and still nothing. But I still have my fingers crossed for a Go Vacation on the Wii U. Well, it's probably not going to be Go Vacation because this series was actually called Family Ski. That was the very first game in this series. The second one was Family Ski and Snowboard. And then it was Go Vacation, so... I don't know what they're going to call the next one. When they go for the same format, I don't know. Woohoo! Yeah, I beat my time. One minute one minute and 5.52, I think it was. I got one minute and 5.27 for the last lap. Right, one more race to go, and we should have ourselves a very merry golden key. <laughs> Circuit race, stage number three. We'll have a golden key, and hopefully... We'll have a plaque to go with it. Let's see. Oh yeah. I've done the same thing at the start <laughs> for every episode so far. Or for every race so far. What? Oh yeah, here's the Mystic Jungle. Is it the Mystic Jungle? Is that where we're going? Oh, we're going into a cave. It definitely has to have online play as well though. I mean, as I've said before in a couple of these episodes before, I'd love to play online with you guys in this. It'd be a lot of fun, like. I don't know why they haven't, um, why they don't have online in more of their games, because that's the way things are going these days. Like, uh, at home with four, with three other people playing four player split screen is almost non-existent these days. It's all online. Anyone else as well? Here, here's, here's something. Um, I have Battalion Wars on the Nintendo Wii. Does anyone have that game? I think it would have been really cool if they had the option to play Battalion Wars 2 player at the same house with two consoles and like a LAN cable, like a LAN cable connecting up with two computers. I mean, there's an option to play games multiplayer while having your own screen. But they still didn't do that. I mean, I used to do that on PlayStation 1, I must admit. I used to play Command and Conquer. Anyone familiar with that? Command and Conquer Red Alert. I used to play two player over land. It was really good fun. Oh crap. Oh what a turn. What a recovery. Get off me. Freaking stupid computer. Oh look at this. Ruining my time you are. Right, I reckon the computer should be... Oh it's still hanging on. And she's gone. Let's see where that music note is. Yay! Music note. That means I win at everything. <laughs> they should really have like a LAN capability. Like, even just the capability to be there. I know everyone wouldn't be able to avail of it, but... The console should be able to do it, yet they just don't have any feature to, to let it happen. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it just wouldn't be worth their resources, put money into something like that, but anyhow. Brown murky water of the mystic jungle. Is it unclean or is it just, I don't know. Why does the water go brown in a jungle? That's the story. It's lovely and clear here at the beach. <laughs> Alright, lap one was 1 minute and 42 seconds. That is a very long, this is an endurance race of sorts. Woo. Keeping it close to the rocky edge, trying to get over, get a, getting a good jump off this can be detrimental. Oh, there's a good one. 
you just tap, tip off the rock and it kind of gives you a little bit of a... I don't know, it looks like a speed boost, <laughs> to be honest. Alright, that, that will help give me a bit of a boost there as well. Oh, absolutely flying it here, you guys. This is going to be a hard time for you guys to beat. I hope, I hope. Alright, so 1 minute and 42 was my first lap. Let's see what my second one is. Is it 1 minute and 30 something? Oh, 1 minute and 37.84. That is a good time. I'll be keeping my eye out now for your your fastest laps as well. People who post in the responses to see if you can beat 1 minute and 37.84. I think that was a pretty solid lap I just had. Let's see if we can beat it again and improve on it some more. Keep it close to the edge. So in some of the previous episodes of this Go Vacation Let's Play as well, they were more based on like um, exploration and doing kind of stuff, but I, I think I've done all that now. It's like, all I've got left to do now is to finish off the stamp dash. And my me character has to swim 3,000 feet. I must do that after this. See if I've got time to do this for this episode. Maybe I'll swim back to Lily. I don't know. <laughs> don't know if I'll be able for that. going good so far. This is going to be a very hard time to beat if I can do three laps of this successfully. This is a lot of room for error. Oh, just cleared the rock. And he's got a bit of a speed boost off that one, I think. Don't hit off the mountain. Or the cave inner wall. Oh, he's taking it way too close to the wall. What am I doing? I think my last lap will not be as fast as my second lap somehow. Although, it wasn't too bad. I think I did hit off a wall at one stage. Woo! 1 minute and 37.73, I did beat it. That is a solid lap. Whew, man. That was pretty good race in this episode, I think. I mean, I did the quad bike race and I was terrible at it. <laughs> I still beat the times, but I didn't do too great. You guys hammered my times for that one. Maybe these um, jet ski ones will be a bit tougher for you. So, one is Silver Key for doing all the stages in Circuit Race. We should hopefully get a Silver Key now as well. So for now, well just for Pig Iron, I'm going to go into Activity Screen just to make sure there's three ticks there. I don't know, I just want to. Yes, there is three ticks there, so we're going to quit. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. Of course I am. Sure. <laughs> My dad loved marine biking the same way you do. Get off me, freak. <laughs> Obtained marine bike trophy. Desmond Trio Tree has mastered marine bike races and tricks. More items now available in remodeling at the Villa Grounds. So you get more stuff for doing that. All right. Oh, is it the present? I'm not sure. No, no gold key. Why? Why? Why do I not get some gold keys? Right, so we're going to get close to Merry Bay then, and I'm going to swim a little bit to see if I can get off you. You see his colour, he was orange. I think he was wearing fake tan. Right, let's see. Right, here's Lily and Co here. So we're going to take a little swim, swimming trip. And uh, we'll leave it around here. That'll give me a short distance to go, not too long. Let's see if we can get this. Um, I think if I get this swim 3,000 feet, I get a gold key, so it would be beneficial. Ah, oh, for God's sake! <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> Maybe I can swim around my jet ski a little bit. This is like probably one of the most tedious um, stars to collect is to swim 3,000 feet. Maybe if I do this a couple of times in every episode. Can you do some sort of different swim? Oh, look at Yoshi. Where's Yoshi? Let's go over to Yoshi. I thought you can do it like a frog swim. How do you do the frog swim? Oh, there you go. Yoshi! <laughs> and look at the speed of Yoshi likes. You see how fast he's going? He's faster than a jet ski. Quicker than a jet ski. It's Yoshi! Look at his legs. What an adorable little dog. <laughs> right. I don't actually think this is faster, it's just quieter. <laughs> This swimming like a frog. The frog's the frog. Is it the breaststroke? Actually, I think it's the breaststroke. Come on, Yoshi. 
go back to my jet ski. This is enough swimming for me. I can get on my jet ski now and I'll just see how many more feet I have left to go. Mount! Ha ha. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see. Alright, view records. Let's go to... Not the marine resort. Um, let's go here. Marine resort master. Swam over 6,000 feet it is actually. So you get a star there. And a star in all of these will get you a gold key. Just like I got one... Uh, where is it? Here. Gold key for city, snow and... Oh! A lap around the track. That's that's one of the most tedious ones, I have to say. What you have to do for this one is you have to stand on top of the train and let it go all the way around the track until you get back to where you started. And you will get a star for that. I don't know why they did that. That's very odd. Mountain Gear Master Horse sprinted at 7,000... 500 feet flat and carpooled 10 times. That means you have to get someone into your car, like a friend or someone. Invited a buddy 10 times. I have not done that. Ball of painful memories. Submerged gear 50 times. Access all boarding platforms. That's probably another tricky one. Fun master. 100,000 plus trick score. Wow. Obtained all silver keys. Okay, so... Um, is there any way I can check? That's what I actually went in here for. <laughs> I had to check to see what I... Oh yeah. Here we go. Alright. Swam. Oh, 3,909 feet. I've got so much left to go. This is... This is annoying. Let's see if I can get to Lily without getting off my marine bike. Or oh, no, it's this person. Hey! <laughs> Welcome here. You can transfer between resorts. Would you like to visit another resort? We are going home, baby. See you later. We're going back to, to the Villa Resort. And we're going to start a new episode very soon. Episode 56, or knowing my luck, I'm probably wrong. Well, thanks for everybody for coming along to this episode of Go Vacation. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the next episode, I'm going to take you to another place. We're going to do some more adventures. I hope you get your scores in. Please remember to post them as a video response. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.